Bitcoin next target $74,000. You want to know everything about the crypto world? Smash the like button. It's time for crypto news. Crypto to the max with Rodrigo Arnido. Today, we have to be happy. Bitcoin going up 9%, 66687. And why is that? Well, mostly because we had that info from United States, the CPY, and we are at a core inflation of three-year low. So that's good for the markets. Allegedly, they expect a cut in the rates maybe sometime soon. And that's good for the stock market. It went up in the United States and also Bitcoin cryptocurrencies up again. And dollar went down. Dollar that is following the path that we followed here. The last time when we had a Fed decision went down was here. And you can see how deep we went. We are doing something similar, maybe to touch this line. We'll see about that in the show. Do not miss any of our shows and smash the like button that you forget sometimes. Today, we have a dead cross there. Why is that? No idea. But Titan of Crypto says in Ichimoku uh, candles, we have that dead cross. So maybe that's good for dollar to go down and then crypto and the stock market to go up. We have to push the resistance. If we break the neckline, we have a target of $76,000. According to Matthew Highland, we need to close above that line. And you can see the line here, that's 66, 66, 66, so many sixes there. So what do you think? We are going to break this resistance here or are we not? And you can see that Titan of Crypto precisely is talking about $74,000 as the next target. That's today title and thumbnail. And he is using a parallel channel that we've been using for a long time. The breakout, the retest, and the target that we were using here. And this is one of my favorite charts for Bitcoin right now. You can see the previous all-time high. And you can see that right now we are mostly in the previous all-time high. We are really close to that one in 2021, not the one we had in 2024. We still a little more to go, but we are uh, in a moment that I believe we should be optimistic because we are in previous all-time highs. So really nice. Also, this bounce in this parallel channel, I believe you can see the trend is positive for Bitcoin. So yeah, remember previous videos, we told you how the election year affects Bitcoin and you can see how we are nailing it with the yellow path. If you want more about this and also how we are tracking the variable of the last halving and you can see that we are getting to the next stop we might before going down. Well, you have that previous videos and today I'm going to share again this one with the moving average of 25. And you see that we didn't broke it in the same period of time, but maybe Bitcoin still seen its way to 100K, first 74, then 100. If we move a little bit that line, well, you can see that we might be a period of time flat, not moving. But then for the end of the month, May the 10th, 13th, we might start going up and we can be above 100K by July the 8th. We'll see about that. Titan of Crypto telling us that the top for this cycle might be up to $108,000 because of Fibonacci. And if you are lost, you don't know where you are in crypto Bitcoin price. Well, this is the nice picture. You can see that we are doing something similar to 2016, in my opinion. So be ready for this pump in the future. We will tell you everything here on Crypto News where today we have more positive news here millennium management saying they own etfs so more and more company morgan stanley reporting having 243 million in bitcoin spot etfs more and more people coming here former pro kickboxing world champion andrew tate saying he's about to leave fiat completely and buy over 100 million worth of bitcoin so he's greedy as we are in the 70 but or also be worried that the market's fighting right now to be in the green. Right now, as we record, we are red. And two years ago, today, 
Terra lost 99.999 of its value. Remember that fiasco? Remember FTX fiasco too? Well, it seems that maybe it's a good thing now, FTX fiasco, because people that are going to have their money back, maybe they are going to be again in crypto. They get fiat, they buy Bitcoin, they buy Ethereum, some meme coins maybe, and that's good for the market. But we are scared of Jim Cramer. He says now, if you want Bitcoin, don't buy MicroStrategy, buy Bitcoin. So maybe as he's a counterindicator, MicroStrategy stock is going to rise and Bitcoin is going to go down. What do you think about that? Ethereum fighting in the line of the $3,000. And we have some special dates here that we have to figure out. Uh, the approaching uh, final deadlines for the Ethereum ETF approval, Vanek 23rd, ARK 21 shares 24, and Hasdaq the 30th. This probably will be get denied, but most likely will be approved on August the 3rd, Fidelity, August the 7th, BlackRock. We'll see about that. I believe we still have to wait for some more time. But the bubbles are in the green today. And of course, on Dextools.io, you can follow all this and you can see Grok is the hot pair today. Also Pepe, GME. But I'm interested in Grok today. Why? Because we have finally in Europe, we have finally in Spain. So thank you, Elon Musk. Probably he listened to me. Thank you. And we have finally, even though we were paying for a long time, we had not Grok and we had it already. I've been playing with it. It's okay. Also, I've been playing uh, with it in comparison with OpenAI, also Gemini. And honestly, not really the best right now, but interesting enough, I ask about fun on the right and it answers. You have the fun mode or you have the regular mode. It said something similar in both cases, but it was okay in order to find the last 24 hours of information for the crypto world, even though well, it's not really the last 24 hours. This is not the last. If you know the last, you have to watch. Fun on the right crypto news, of course. But okay, it also related to all our platforms and all the places you can follow us, even Patreon. So yeah, thank you to Grog to um, like highlighting that you can uh, make donations and use Patreon. Thank you very much. I will tell you everything about this on our other channel, AI News, about artificial intelligence. Watch the last video, it's awesome. And I'm recording today the one about Google. We have their open AI news. I'm going to talk about Gemini. I'm going to talk about Google and of course about Grok. Also, as I'm telling you, we have there some GME and some Pepe fast. Pepe is the worst today. In the best ones, we have things like, for example, Solana with a 13% rise in the day, which is good if you hold Solana. And it's so good if you wanna use M2, a huge exchange coming into the Spanish world. And now they have 10% APY for your Solana. So easy to use. I'm going to create a dedicated video, but it's easy. So if you wanna just uh, do it right now, use the link in the description below if you want to take advantage of this and then you can have that 10% APY. Just go into the exchange. Of course, you have to sign up. Do you know your customer? And then we click on deposit. Then we have our USDT, for example. We are going to convert it into Solana in this case. And then you go to Solana and click on earn. And you are good to go. And you are having 10% for limited time with M2. Maybe it's Solana Summer. Well, if it's the case, then use M2, our sponsors, to make some money. Why not? Or maybe you prefer Pepe that yesterday had an all-time high. Or maybe you are all into GME. This is the chart crazy for GME. We see here in DexTools.io. And you see from Watcher Guru that GameStop's GME stock outperformed Bitcoin yearly returns in a single day. Here with TradingView, we have this 500 and more percent that it's up uh, GME in the stock market since April 2024. Bitcoin is just 40% in that period of time. 
even though I believe it's a little bit unfair because we've been rallying for longer. But yeah, that was a best trade. And also, I want to share Jimmy chart, also Bitcoin chart, and Dogecoin chart. Why? Because the last time we had these crazy things with GME, we also had them with Dogecoin. So what happened in the past, the moment that GME started rallying was 13 January 2021. You can see this movement here. And you can see that Dogecoin at that point was flat or even going down. And we had to wait till GME started going down, all this way down, for Dogecoin to start exactly going up. So it seems that the money from GME went all the way to Dogecoin speculators, legends out there making money. So maybe you just have to wait that 15 day period of time and move all your wins to Dogecoin. Maybe so if you get rich due to this operation that I'm not going to do, send me some cryptocurrencies or fiat. Thank you very much. And here you have that chart. This is Dogecoin chart. So are we yet in that moment or rising? Because this time we are not going flat or down. We were coming down, but as 13th of May, we started going up again. So it's not exactly the same, but maybe when the fuss stops about GME, Dogecoin will rise. Remember also that we have Elon Musk's birthday on June 28th. That's one month exactly after May 28th, June 28th, May 28th. So maybe there's something planned here and we uh, can have a rally till Elon Musk's birthday, dog father. Maybe so. Last year, we are like four or five days before Elon Musk's birthday for that pack. We'll see about it and we'll see about Roaring Kitty. Uh, this started all this crazy thing, this meme. And after that, he is just posting like movie things. Lobedno here, you still here asking her. You can see Phantom of the Opera and so many movies and movies and movies and movies and more movies. So, yeah, I don't know why he's doing this because uh, you lost interest. You don't want to watch uh, to all this like five or 10 clips of movies per hour. So maybe there's some kind of message in all this. Maybe he had a message in the first one or two. And now, like when you are in a WhatsApp group and you say something you didn't want to, you just uh, start sending stupid stuff so that they don't understand the first message. Well, maybe so. Maybe this is legal trouble. I have no idea. If you have some thoughts about this, leave them in the comments below and we keep on learning. Thank you very much. As you need to learn that we have a nice promotion from Over the Reality. I told you the other day, but now this is public out there on X, Twitter, and you can see that you have a boost of three. So now I'm going to leave you all the details in the description below. You can go and map the world and then you are having to have three times what you were having with this direct rewards and also the probability of having hiding rewards is 15% up. So nice. It was 5%. Now it's 15. So we have an X3 boost for everything out there. If you don't know how to do it, we have dedicated videos that you can watch. Go today, just enjoy the sun and do some walking out there and map and you are making a lot of money. That can be a lot of money. Of course, not financial advice, as I'm not advising you about IOTA, but they are launching, allegedly, according to this article, IOTA 2.0, where we are going into POS, saying goodbye to POW. We'll see about that. IOTA this week trying to go a little bit higher. Come on, IOTA, still a long way, but I keep... Uh, maintaining my faith in you. You can do it right now. What we have to do is chill and relax. Maybe with a cat massage like this one. Why not? As we keep on learning about AI, AI channel, watch the video right now and wait for today's or tomorrow's news video. And if you want to learn more about crypto, of course, one of our best videos here on Crypto News. Rodrigo Arnedo, fun on the right, health, money, love, 
party in peace and the best is yet to come. To the moon!